Tweakers, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Uh, we are continuing our dwarf campaign today, and as you recall, we were about to assault the Pillars of Grungni. Uh, and let's get a move on and let's fight this fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta get a little water here. Now this should be a fairly easy battle. They are pretty badly damaged. Uh, we are damaged too, but we are by far the the better troops and the better uh, warriors. Uh, and so we we shall persevere. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's let's see if we can utilize this here and put melee front. Uh, okay, we're also going to put him up front as well, and then that's probably good enough for this battle. Let's start. Ah, that's where they are. And once again, they're going to wait for us, but that's actually not surprising. They are pretty badly damaged, so uh, we're going to... Let's see. I have an idea. What we're going to do, we're going to... Why are you so slow? I don't understand why he's so much slower than everybody else. Ah, there we go. Now they're getting into the fight. All right, you, you, gun him down. My doom approaches. Get in there, guys. Cover your axes in grossy blood. All right, halt. No, 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 you guys keep firing him. Shoot him down. Oh, took care of that unit. <laughs> and you into there. You fall back. You fight there. Go. There we go, Ungram. Very good. Get in there. Ungram is more than capable of taking on that unit all by himself. <laughs> But we're just going to help him out because that's the kind of people we are. All right, there we go. Flank attack. Chase after him. Actually, you know what? We're, we're going to... We're just going to let those guys shoot them to death. We're just going to shoot them down and gun them. Of course, this is a settlement battle, so there's really don't have any place to run. This is more just sort of fun to watch. <laughs> it's like, let's watch him die. Ah! Oh. <laughs> These guys are running and... <laughs> All right. Nice, quick battle there. Uh, fortunately, these uh, uh, these early battles are fairly quick and easy. Look at that. We lost four people. They lost 159, uh, 159 and captured the rest. Got a little bit of loot. Ooh, armor, shield of Talos. Another rank, excellent. We are going to occupy this. My vows will be satisfied with this. Melee defense plus five, missile resistance 30%. This is awesome. Your Dowie have been put to work fixing up the captured city, sir. Yet there are many grudges still to settle. Perfidious manlings and bloodthirsty vampires threaten your kind in the north. And your mountain will never be safe while a single green skin draws breath. 
to war. Yeah, like I need some human telling us dwarves how to uh, how to handle our grudges. <laughs> Please, you don't even know. All right, so we do have um, uh, uh, an chapter obj objective issued, uh, which is occupy, loot, raz, or sack three different settlements. No problem. We're going to be doing Gale that. Helicopter scouts report of a greenskin migration heading northwards. Uh -huh. Spies say they intend to meet up and swell the mobs of the dread orc warlord who travels towards the Badlands. Whatever they are up to, they must be stopped. Summon the throng. Ambush at Thundering Falls. We're going to be doing that too because uh, one of our early objectives that we're going to do is come up here and grab Mount Gunbad. And if we can, Grom Peak. We're going to see if we can't take this top uh, little uh, area, right? these two right here, because this is another province. Um, we are also going to build a second group, uh, uh, a second, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a second army to come down here to take on Death Pass, uh, or, or perhaps... Um, Or maybe, do we want to, or do we want to get into Blood River Valley? I'm torn. I don't know if I want to do... You know, I may say, I may let, um, I, I let, may let Barak Var uh, deal with Blood River Valley. Uh, they can they can go that direction and clean that way, and I may clean. Uh, whoops. I, I will probably start down Death Pass and begin cleaning up and, and stick to my mountains, uh, because uh, you know it's you know hey why not let's let's utilize our allies. Uh, speaking of our allies, uh, first things. Oh, first things first. Ooh, we have to deal with. Uh, our uh, we, we're currently public order is not looking so great of course that's just because of conquest um, but either way we, we do need to start doing something about our public order um, see that's growth we're going to need growth that's money um, I think for now let's get our growth uh, going so that we can get our, our replenishment done as well uh, we need to rebuild our army a bit. Yes. We've got plenty of money, and we've got uh, an excellent income coming in right now. So we are going to get some more warriors. Uh, let's see. <sighs> let's just... Yes, my oath is intact. Let's get... Um... Yeah, let's get three more. Let's see, one. We've got. We have our flankers. One, two, three, four, five. Um. Let's do one more. Uh, and we'll. Oh no. Uh, okay. Let's just do. Let's just do that. Um. Let's get three more going on over here. Uh, can we build? Okay, yes, we can. Uh, do I want to go down this way? I don't know that I want to put my, um, well, yeah, because I can get my quarrelers and, hmm. Okay, I need to check something real quick. Uh, okay, so this is really what I want to get into, is I want to make this into my cannon shop. See, uh, the, uh, the, the, the melee, your, your typical, like, line kind of guys can, stops at level, at level three. So there's really no need for you to build, uh, to utilize a slot in your capital because your, your capital can go to level five, but most other provinces won't go above three. So it makes sense for you to put your, um, like your, your standard run of the mill guys in a sparring chamber in another city, such as the one we just took. 
uh, or the one we're about to take in Mount Squ uh, Squig, Squig, Mount Squig something. I don't remember. Um, so what I want to do is I want to build this. Um, you cannot construct this building before first constructing any buildings earlier in the chain, but there is nothing earlier in the chain. So I'm tempted. I'm going to hold off for now um, because I think I may... I'm going to definitely take this. And it looks like they have... Yeah, I'll say it looks like they have like the equivalent of a sparring chamber uh, here at Mount Squighorn. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a turn um, and I'm going to send... Um, my, my boy over here to take this place and, and, and solidify the Silver Road province. Yeah, um, okay. So we have three more turns left for our technology. We currently have no grudges, uh, but we do have one quest, which is up here. We will get to that eventually, but not right now. Let's Relations do some diplomacy. foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy, my lord. Consider your situation carefully before accepting any agreement. Of course we will. All right, so currently we are, uh, we have no defensive allies, we have no military allies, we are at war with like several different greenskin armies, and we are trading with Barakvar. Um, now, Barakvar. Honor to your ancestors. Honor to your ancestors, sir. Uh, we are going to create a defensive alliance, if you will accept it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then let's see what Zephbar has to say. Aye, let's hear what you have to say. Uh, we'll hear it before Oath Gold. Good for you. All right, non-aggression act. We def we are not going to hurt each other. Okay, very good. Uh, eventually, Zephbar will be good buddies of ours. Uh, for right now, all the rest are in red, though, and I'm not going to pay out a bunch of money for stuff that I don't need to do. We have a non-aggression pact already with the Empire. That's all I care about with the Empire. Obviously, we're never going to be friends with, with Greenskins. They are our most most hated, uh, uh, hated enemies. Do not greet me as a friend, nor are we foes yet. Eh, hush you. Uh, border princes are some whiny little jerks. I mean, they're, they're, they're not enemies, but they're like, they also don't want to be friends. They don't want to be anything with anybody. Uh, they, I guess they have like a hatred of, of dwarves or something. Hey man, that's racist. <laughs> Let's take a look at our faction summary just to, just to uh, go over it. Uh, looks like, right, like I said, we're, we're good for our, for our, uh, grudges. We are doing pretty good. Oh, okay. That's a uh, Lord effects. Um, where our income is doing just fine. We currently have two settlements. I really want to get uh, some heroes going because one thing I have learned in this game is enemy heroes stink. They, uh, they're, they're really jerks. Um, and uh, apparently I'm not the only person who feels this way. Um, I'm going to end the turn here. Oh! Oh, I have an oh, I have the skill points. The slayer in me seeks death. Well, don't die yet. First, you have to gain an inspiring presence. <laughs> you will not die, Ungrim. You shall be my... Oh. You shall be my hero. And, and... Together we shall rule. All right, so what do we got time. going here? I have added several more units. Uh, I still have only these two. I, these guys are really still not built up very well. Uh, I will probably keep the Slayers back just so maybe I'll just use them as a, uh, as a, as a last minute flanking force or something. What? But we are going to take Mount Squighorn. My command is attack to battle! 
Okay, as you can see, once again, this is very, very in our favor. Um, I may... Do I just want to... Do I just want to auto-resolve this? Or do I want to fight it out? I'm going to fight it out. How's it say? How's it say? Ha! I, I wish I knew what the heck they were saying. <laughs> I love dwarves. <laughs> All right, let's... Okay, so where are our enemies? We don't see them, so... We are unsure as to where they are. So let's. Uh, I am the Slayer King. Melee to the front and business in the front. Party in the rear. My doom approaches. Yeah, well, you you need to like be like up front because you are slow, buddy. You are super slow for some reason, and, and I have no idea why, but you are super slow, and that just is really annoying. So, let's begin this battle. Aha, they're way over there. Okay, we've got Spear, and you guys are going to sit over there again. What is wrong with, this, with these guys? like we're doing pretty good here and charge 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 splatter and let's support Ungram over here let's shoot these guys in the face You. Get over here. Dude, hurry up. Tell you what, you guys reposition. I'm, I'm gonna like. Oh, okay, never mind. And get him from behind there, Slayers. Let's move you around to the other side there. Cut those guys down. Dwarf warriors, got. Slay everything without a beer. Ah, forgot it. <laughs> it is a reckoning. Shoot them. Find your Shoot targets. them. And they're running. And they're running, and they're running, and they're running. Oh, 
And done. <sighs> Let's watch them get shot down. Shot down in a blaze of glory. <laughs> All right, let's end the battle. 38 losses, hardly anything. 472 for them. Decisive victory. The early, uh, the early battles are usually pretty early, uh, pretty easy. Ooh, a talisman, opal amulet, another rank, which is excellent. We need to keep, uh, need to keep him going. Okay, we captured 133 people. Execute it. Oh, first of all, uh, let's occupy. Yes, my oath is intact. Okay, now we can, now because we control the the entire province, uh, we can issue a commandment to make uh, things basically be able to to do um, like a whole province wide effect. Now, obviously, our public order is kind of hurting right now, um, I, but that's mainly because of the conquest. Uh, but either way, I still want to focus on. Uh, well, growth is actually very important, too. And public order is only plus two. You know what? I'll, I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to do public order for now. Just to kind of get us a, a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, and then I'm going to... Whoops. Hi. Um, hey. Ah, there we go. All right, okay, so see, I do. I have a sparring chamber over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crush this, and I'm going to build. I'm just going to let that, and, and I'll get some money back for it, too. And I'm going to build up this. Um, and, and I can do with just basic warriors for now. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I am, am I, I feel confident enough in I must in, in, Ungram's, my in, in Ungram's abilities that he can be able to handle uh, anything that comes his way for now. Uh, we, let's see, we're still doing really good for money and, but I think we're going to wait uh, for a turn, or wait a minute, do I want to... We're on turn two. You know what? I'm going to wait until turn three before I buy, uh, get another lord and start working on a second army. Uh, because I want, basically, I'm going to have Ungram. I'm going to have Ungram come up here and lay siege to Mount Gunbad and try to take this back because I want that gold mine. And also, there's a special thing here that I really, really want. Uh, so we're going to go over here, we're going to lay siege to that, and then we're going to come over here, take this place, so we have this entire province. Uh, for now, we have two more turns for that. I think we're just going to end the turn for now. Oh, I forgot about Ungrim. I'm so glad they have those 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 uh, reminders. <laughs> okay. Um, now... We're talking about Ungram Iron Fist here. I want to work on the vigor loss reduction. Um, last time I was always getting uh, tired dwarves. Um, they'd be in the middle of combat and they'd be exhausted and wiped out and they wouldn't be able to fight as well. There's also Slayer. which increases his melee attack. Um, oh, I have two skill points. Oh, did I not assign one last time? Oh, I must... Oh, no, I went up two levels. That's why. Okay, well, we're going to put one point in that and one point in that. That works. Um, anyway, I'm going to put... I'm going to see what happens if I put... Um, 
I'm going to see what happens, because this, this affects his entire army. So I'm going to see what happens when I put three points into that and then put another, maybe, maybe another couple of points into here to beef up uh, my warrior wall. Uh, because warriors are kind of your bread and butter uh, of, uh, of, of this game, of, of the dwarves. Looks like he might be coming around to say hello, and if he is, we're, we're, we'll be more than ready for him. But let's go ahead and end this turn. And there, okay, so yes he did, he moved around this way. He wants to come and play. Uh, okay, so demolition complete of the sparring chamber. Uh, so we're going to go there. Uh, because I want to make sure that I get this... Uh, there it is. I want to make sure I get this, this artillery started. Um, yeah. Alright. Because uh, the sooner I get the... Uh, all these different things set up and uh, growing, the better. Um, that's kind of the bummer right now is that my, uh, my growth is not very good. Uh, but we're working on it. At least my gem mine shaft is going to be done here pretty soon. And once that's done, uh, my, it'll give me a, a big boost to my, uh, my income, which means I can buy a bunch, I, I can buy my new lord and buy my new, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, my new thingy, uh, army. Uh, let's see, he... I'm gonna go... My vows under ways with this and oh I can't shoot I can't um, Aye, but the axe of Dargo demands blood uh, you know what he, he's I'm just gonna keep him right there so that he can continue to uh, recover these units um, and I think we've done as much building as we can do. Let's let's check our diplomacy again. All right, Barak Bar. Come, come, kin. Aha! Let us feast and drink. Defensive alliance. Chances of like uh, success high. Excellent. Give us money. <laughs> it's still high. Give us more money. It's moderate. Uh, let's try it. Woohoo! We got extra money. <laughs> All right, and now Zuffbar. Now we from another hold arrived. Still, Tis a great day. Still not, uh, st still, still looking for low chances, but that's okay. As time goes on, um, our our situation with all these guys, uh, with our dwarven allies, will improve. Uh, well, I think for now, let's just go to the next turn. See, there he is. All right, there. See, they're they're doing just fine, uh, taking care of that Blood River Valley or whatever. All right, Teef Snatches has joined the Confederation of the Green uh, the Greenskins. So, ah, oh, that's our first technology or uh, their technology down there. All right. Um, Uh, the thing is, I want to, I want to start getting into this right here, um, but I think first I'm going to, I'm going to continue increasing my income because I need, uh, one thing that, uh, dwarven units are expensive and the one thing you always want to make sure you have is a solid, powerful income. Uh, so... Aha! Good! Okay, so let's upgrade that. And let's upgrade that. 
that'll increase our our uh, income and and our trade stuff. Uh, and of course, this will give us our next level. Uh, uh, this will give us our next level of uh, outpost, so that I can increase this to the next level of barracks. All right. Um, do I want to do this yet? Yes, I do. Um, I am going to get our next lord. All right, so we can't get Gorum, uh, uh, Thor, Thorgrim Grudgebearer yet. We need to unlock eight. Well, we need to clear eight grudges from the Great Book of Grudges. Right now, we have two of them, so we need to clear six more grudges, and then it will unlock him, uh, and we'll be able to get him. Um, so in the meantime, we have Alden Stronghold with a increased size of aura uh, or Rorik Ironbeard with plus six of leadership. Hmm. Both are actually pretty good. I think we're going to go with uh, Rorik Ironbeard. Time for a reckoning. It is time for a reckoning. All right. Uh, and for now... Let us do... Let's do... One, two, three, four... Do I want miners? Miners, once uh, miners get upgraded to the miners with blasting charges are actually really cool. Uh, and they're pretty darn effective, but right now they're not that great. The standard miner isn't that terrific. Um, I think I'm just going to go with five warriors for now, uh, and we'll wait on the rest of... Uh, we'll, we'll wait for Karak, uh, Karaza Karak to uh, complete the workshop and get that up and running. All uh, right. Let's see. Well, uh, I think for now we're doing pretty good here. Um, we are holding our own here. And yes. these guys are building up nicely. We're going to be heading upwards this way. We're going to pincher this guy. Uh, and we're going to do this uh, quest battle. Uh, and then we're going on to take Mount Gunbad. And then once we get our other, st our, our other army up and running... We're going to flow back down this way, and we're going to take on uh, Karag Drawn, and then the Iron Rock and the Black Crag. Um, these will be... Uh, this will be fairly easy. This will be a bit harder, and that's going to be really darn hard. Uh, but we will deal with that as time, uh, up, that time approaches. And we're going to let... Um, Barak Var deal with these uh, this uh, Blood River Valley for us, um, and I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out so very much. I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, I'm so far this is fun. Um, I, I'm it's turning out I'm not too too terribly bad at uh, real time tactical stuff. Um, and I like to think I'm fairly good at uh, the strategic part of it, uh, the turn pace strategy part of it. So uh, if you did, uh, if you did enjoy this series, please uh, leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Um, and of course, if you're a regular watcher, please hit the subscribe button. We're still going for that 100. Um, and uh, as always, everyone, please remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. Squeak on!